Many of California's crown jewels of nature are in Sonoma County. It is a national park level landscape. It is as spectacular as almost anywhere that you could go in the national park system. Thankfully, Sonomans are protecting their world-class natural treasures, like this one. Hugely diverse, we're less than a mile from the ocean. We're looking at redwoods and oak trees, um, amazing grasslands. Sonomans are also ensuring that everyone can benefit from nature nearby. And I just gotta say, it just, I feel great, you know? <laughs> <laughs> A Sonoma County's commitment to preserving its natural heritage and making it accessible to more and more people has grown dramatically over the past few decades, thanks to many public, private, and nonprofit organizations and agencies working together. Now, this community collaboration often features two premier partners. We have had a great relationship at parks and we have a wonderful relationship now. Carol Hart is the interim general manager of the Sonoma County Agricultural Preservation and Open Space District, known as Sonoma Ag and Open Space. And Burt Whitaker is director of Sonoma County Regional Parks. These old friends and their two publicly funded agencies partner whenever possible to establish parks for the people. Little by little, this partnership has acquired key parcels. Hood Mountain, Sonoma Mountain, Taylor Mountain. You look throughout the county, things that could have been developed and parcelized are now preserved for public access and for agriculture. Sonoma Ag and Open Space was established and funded by voters in 1990, and since then has protected over 111,000 acres, about 10% of the entire county. Agnophys is such an incredible organization. They have this vision looking at the landscapes of Sonoma County and knowing that we need to protect them. And there are, there are strategic and very important locations that we want to protect them, but also get the public out there to experience it, to enjoy it, to help be a part of stewarding it for the future. Much of the land purchased by Sonoma Ag and Open Space is turned over to Sonoma Regional Parks. And that will happen here in 2021. Everyone in Sonoma County should be jumping for joy on that day because this is going to be open to the public and what a magnificent, magnificent experience it's going to be when people come out here. This is going to be more of a wildland destination. This is a more remote location really on top of the world between the Russian River and Bodega Bay. On a bright and beautiful spring morning along the sensational Sonoma coast, Carol and Bert take us up Wright Hill for a sneak peek at what's about to become a new 1,200-acre park. We climb towards the heavens and heavenly views in all directions. Hey guys, look at the view to the north there. Wow, it's just unbelievable. So this is a Poff Ranch a location where the you know, really, really uh, long legacy of, of working lands up here. With Highway 1 far below, views of Jenner to the north and Bodega Bay and Bodega Dunes to the south, this old ranch will be made ready by regional parks for all of us to explore in the next few years. It'll take a little time to get trails and facilities fully prepared for us, but it'll be worth the wait. People can be so proud and happy that this entire landscape really that we're seeing is now protected either by wildlands, state parks, regional parks. You know, it's something they can look at and know that will be there forever. Wright Hill will be a key piece of a vast 10,000 acre network of connected coastal lands accessible to the public on many miles of trails with fascinating discoveries around every bend. So Bert, I mean, to have these all suddenly on this beautiful big open grassland area and then suddenly this, this rock, this is yeah. fabulous. There's such a surprise. You come out here and these, these, these just amazing rock outcrops, I mean, they really, they tell a story of, eons and eons of time and the wind blowing and the weather and the fog and the um, just amazing things of our Sonoma coastline. They really, they really do inspire. These lands have inspired and nourished the native people of the coast for millennia. And they will inspire and nourish all of us as well in the years ahead. There's no power lines, there's no buildings. You can find yourself in a place like this. And that's what people need today. They need to find that centering, um, and that's what this provides. Everyone who comes up here has a moment of reflection of just 
how incredible this area along our Sonoma Coast is and how important it is in, in, that, in this legacy of conservation protection. From the top of Wright Hill, we can almost see on the eastern horizon another property, also to be transferred from Carroll's agency to Burt's in 2021. A gorgeous gem in the Mayacamas Mountains above Sonoma Valley. This will be the Calabasas Creek Regional Park and Open Space Preserve, and I'm so excited that you got to get out here today with us, Doug. This new, nearly 1,300-acre preserve with the beautiful Calabasas Creek running through it connects the valley floor to ridges high above. In the fall of 2017, the Nuns Fire raged through Calabasas. We filmed in the highlands early the next year and witnessed nature, which has evolved with fire already beginning to heal herself. Four years later, we walked by the creek through a lovely green garden. This property is in its fourth season of recovery from the fire, and as you can see, it's uh, nature is mending itself, which is really just, just so joyful, especially we're in spring now with all the flowers and stuff popping. I think we'll see the next fire that comes through be much lower intensity. So it's an important place to come and see how fire can be beneficial. When Calabasas has been readied by regional parks to accept public visitation, we'll each be able to come here to witness the healing powers of nature and benefit from them ourselves in sublime settings like this. Thanks to Sonoma's public commitment to protecting nature nearby and the collaborative work of its public agencies to make that happen and make it accessible to all of us. It's a great moment now to finally, after all this time, be able to transfer to our incredible recreational partner and have such a beautiful place open to the public.